Mars, and today I'm chatting with Mingna, the actress who many of you may know as the voice of Disney's Mulan, and in recent years has been seen kicking some butt on screen in some live-action TV series like Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Star Wars The Mandalorian. The recently released animation documentary Pencils vs. Pixels, narrated by Mingna, showcases the animators that have brought some of your most favorite animated characters to life and celebrates the unique magic of 2D hand-drawn animation while exploring the revolution behind computer animation. Hi, Mom. Hi! It's so nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really excited to talk about, you know, the new documentary that you're narrating, uh, Pencils vs. Pixels. Yes, it's available now on, uh, I guess, uh, digital platform. Yes. Ironic. Digital. Um, uh... Isn't it ironic? That's right. <laughs> so all of the hand-drawn animated and computer animated movies, um, like out of all of them, what's your favorite 2D animated movie and your favorite digitally animated movie? Well, I'm going to be biased and say my 2D would be Mulan. Valid. Valid. <laughs> Yes. I love that. I love Mulan. Oh, thank you. I love her too. Isn't she the best? She's so... Uh, and it's nice too because uh, Tom Bancroft is um, the producer and creator of this um, animation, Pickle, Pick, Pickles. <laughs> I, have, I have two, four hours of sleep. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, pencils and Pixels. <laughs> And um, so when he asked me to help out, because Tom worked on Mulan and his brother did mm -hmm. too, Tony, and they both had worked with Disney, mm -hmm. I was more than happy because anything to celebrate 2D animation. Right. It's it's just so beautiful. Like, it's just, ugh, just the yeah. amount of work that goes into it. It's just incredible. Like, it really is. And those animators, uh, they are, they're magicians. They really Oh, yeah. Are. You know, and they have so much passion and love for what they do. And it's really yeah. nice to see that uh, they're being asked back as a, a necessity. Right. Yeah. Because I think um, when it was just CGI, it was great for a while because it was the new shiny penny. Right. And, uh, people kind of missed a lot of uh, the 2D because, yeah. you know, it's it's the spirit, it's the heart of of the animators right exactly like it's really like what started it all yeah so um, what's your favorite for 2d i'd probably say maybe beauty and the beast okay that's a love, good one love okay. beauty and the beast and animated digital animated you mean yeah did yeah digitally animated um i honestly don't know <laughs> i don't know i love like, Toy that was one of the very first it's interesting to see like how like movies like can, like they can like just add so much plot and like now they're like I think on like the fourth movie or oh, that yeah. like it's just crazy oh, you know, in reality Beauty and the Beast which which I learned in the documentary mm -hmm. did incorporate CGI they just kept yeah it yeah so it's fascinating to learn Interesting. because I thought Mulan was one of the first to incorporate CGI with the Huns you know when yeah. they were and they came charging down the mountain right. that I like that scene blew me away because every horse was different and the Huns were yeah. different expressions were different so um and that was achieved through CGI yeah so, you know they were already incorporating the two um art forms together so the 2011 Winnie the Pooh movie was the last hand-drawn um animated feature done by Disney Animation Studios so do you think we may see the return of like a full length hand drawn animated feature one day? I don't see why not. Um, you know, there's still a lot of like TV series that are hand drawn 2Ds. And, yeah. But I think ultimately to be 100% 2D, it it's probably not going to happen. Yeah. Because, you know, why? We've already evolved. Right. Where and you see the sp the spectacular combination of both art forms uh, bringing a story to life, and uh, uh, I, I think that's that's where it's going to head. Yeah, and I then AI AI is going to take over, and who knows? What oh yeah, <laughs> but we we don't need to worry about that right now. Okay. Oh. Maybe <laughs> next year. That's yeah. all fast. Oh boy, yeah. 
So um, aside from being the iconic voice of Disney's Mulan, you've voiced many other roles for animated movies and TV shows. So when you do your voice recordings for some of your more action-oriented characters, do you ever use a voice stunt double? (laughs) Never. Just like in my real life, no. Uh, (laughs) Yes. No, but I I don't do, um, I, I don't need a stunt voiceover but maybe i'll I'll start putting that into my contract maybe because i still i, I do too much I have to be physical when i'm i'm doing those uh yeah exactly yeah you know, it's still like true. pending you get hit and uh it's weird you're just like in yeah. your in front of the microphone being the yeah. silly and being alive you know yeah. like it's so silly I, have yeah. so job. I really do no i love like seeing like kind of like behind the scenes like voice like voiceover like that type of stuff because like it's like really like fun to see the like character that like people like who are like voice acting you know like they're bringing like the character to life it's not just like talking into a microphone whatever like it's just like it's not newscasters yeah we're we're definitely putting our heart and soul oh yeah you know like when we're running I mean we're just like running and you're running and just getting out of breath and it's so fun I love it. Yeah, it's it's great. So um, Hollywood has recently taken some classic 2D hand-drawn animated movies and turned them to into like CGI and even live action films like, you know, Lion King, Cinderella, Aladdin, Little Mermaid, even Mulan. So do you believe that some of those have really like adapted well? Yes, I think, you know, <clears throat> one of the hardest thing is when you take something that is so beloved. Right right? The original animated film and taking the risk of transforming it into another medium, another, you know, with different voices. And it's like having your favorite songs being sung by another artist. So I, I think over time, many of these adaptations will find its audience and become more beloved because I thought so many of them were beautifully done. I and, agree. And, yeah. yeah and I think it's just that resistance of not yeah. wanting change. But if for you sure. look, enjoy it for what it is, and maybe that might take like a new generation who might be just watching the live action first and then go, you know, I don't know. I think every project like that every human being that worked on those projects put their heart and soul into it oh, yeah. and uh, and their incredible talents into it. So I, I will not poo poo on any of them. I a hundred percent agree. Yes. Uh, so my last question um, is like, is there a classic film or a book that you feel would make a great animated movie or animated series? And would you ever want to voice a character from it? Wow. Um, that's a really good question, Mars. I I don't know. I, I can't think of anything like really right off the top of my head. Um, I know there's been many like books that I used to read that would be fun to see um, adapted into an animation or uh, I mean, I don't know. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Love so many things. It's hard to it's hard to it's hard to say. I'm gonna have to like think on that one. Get back. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. It was so much fun. It's You're so much fun to meet you too. Say hi to your dad, <laughs> and uh, and I'm happy you have Gremlins back there and Darth Vader. All those I I've done all of those. <gasps> you know what? I would love to do a Tim Burton project. Oh, so true. Love Tim oh, Burton. Talk about artistry. That's it. You've ever gone to the Tim Burton Museum? I've got to put it on my list. It's like a touring museum. Oh my gosh. His artwork is just fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Bye. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me today for this interview with actress Mingna. Be sure to check out the documentary film Pencils vs. Pixels, which is available now on digital platforms everywhere. Thanks to Mingna for chatting with me today. What an honor to have interviewed the iconic voice of a Disney princess, Mulan herself. I'm Mars. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!